Welcome back to GTC TV, everyone. I'm Nate. And I'm Richard. And Nate, this is going to be our probably most viewed episode, I but probably so. one of our most hated episodes of the year. Um, we want to tell everyone that this episode is, so, is mostly going to be about the changes to the national fee increase. Um, please don't hate us as the messengers, uh, but in an effort to make sure everyone's informed in a timely manner, we wanted everyone to know as soon as possible. As soon as we heard, uh, Nate and I literally just got off the phone with people confirming uh, details, uh, prices, and all that. So um, don't hate the messengers. Nate and I are good people. Um, this is not our decision, but we want to make sure everyone's informed. So, um, And I think there's some good stuff that actually coming out of this that might make it easier down the line. So first off, Nate, do you want to, what is the new membership fees? And these are all going into effect August 1st of this year. So yes. August 1st of this year. Nate, take it away. So effective August 1st of 2023. For all Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, Venturing, and Sea Scouting participants, the membership fee will be $80. That is a $5 increase over what it was for the past years. For all adult volunteers, it will be a $60 fee, which is a $15 increase to help provide the general liability insurance and our enhanced background checks. Uh, Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA and all new members will still have a one-time $25 uh, joining fee for the new program participants. That is not changed. That is not changed. Yeah, that is a, no change in that fee. <clears throat> um, also, uh, for anyone that is registered as solely a merit badge counselor, you do not have a multiple registration as a merit badge counselor, but that is your only way you are registered, there will be a $25 fee. So that is just for merit badge counselors, not if you're already registered as a leader and you multiple as a merit badge counselor. Uh, for our exploring participants, youth and adults, the fee will be $50, and the unit charter and affiliation fee will remain at $100. Yeah. Um, so the kind of the big reasons that we're doing this, um, if you think about it, is the general liability cost to protect our volunteer leaders, staff, charter organizations, units, and youth, the BSA restructure restructure restructuring costs. Jeez, I, restructuration was a word I was trying to make up there, but it's BSA restructuring costs. Um, and the enhanced criminal background check processes and investments in the youth protection and safety programs. So, Nate, if you, if the number, we, I know you know the number, but let's say, what is the number that we spend each year per kid on the GLIP insurance, the general uh, insurance, general liability insurance, and the background checks. What do you think? What uh, What is that number? That number is right around $60. Yeah. So of that $80 fee for Cub Scouts and pretty much the entirety of the adult volunteer fee goes strictly to providing the general liability insurance and the enhanced criminal background checks that we're working on to ensure that our leaders are the proper safe people to be around our youth. That's, I think that's very important for our, the people to know that the insurance costs, just like probably your home insurance, your car insurance, um, hopefully you're not coming out of a bankruptcy like we are, but our, our insurance costs have gone up. Um, and the other thing, the other major change uh, that's happening is we are no longer going to be prorating the fees. So what does that mean? What that means is everyone is going to have to get the image of recharge out of their head right now. Um, and when you join scouting now, your membership is going to be a 12 month membership, whether you join in September, whether you join in December, you join in January, March, you join this summer in June. As whenever you join, your membership is going to be good for 12 months. So this has an increased benefit now for our fall where we used to have to charge a fee in September, October, and then you got to turn around and collect a recharter fee in November. Well, that's going away. Um, what's going to happen is when the recharter, we're not 100% sure how recharter is happening yet. I'm sure it'll be a mess this first year. We're not, we're not going to sugarcoat that. It's going to be fun, um, but we'll figure it out. But everyone that's currently registered is going to have that recharter date or that membership renewal date, their anniversary date, as I'm hearing it being called. That is going to be happening on in December, December 31st. All the new people will be whatever their new day is. So... Um, so September, so everyone else will still do, so everyone that's currently registered will be December. Going forward, it's your anniversary date. Uh, period, end of story. So if your kid joins, the, um, I know we're going to hit this a couple times, but the kid joins September, we are not going to charge a recharter fee in November, December. Make that very clear. If they join September, this, if they join this fall, they're going to be good for 12 months. 
and there's no longer going to be a question on how much does it cost to join scouting. Now it's going to be, if they're new, it's going to be $105. If they're coming back to scouting, it's going to be 80. If you're renewing your membership, it's going to be 80 as a kid. So I know Nate, you did this handy dandy chart just to uh, drive home. Now we got our, our board's kind of sucks as loud noises here. Nailed it. So um, this is just to put everything in perspective right here, handy dandy chart. Uh, as Nate mentioned, the fees, and here's and here's the current. So, um, so as Richard had mentioned, for all of our current youth and current adults, December will be your anniversary month. So in December, our new youth will or our current youth will pay eighty dollars, and our current adults will pay sixty dollars. That will renew you through your anniversary month of December twenty twenty four. Um, and then also, as Richard mentioned, for our new youth, I have a couple of examples. September and October are two really big months for new membership. But the way we did it is I just threw September. So if they join this fall, September 2023, they will pay the $80 membership fee plus the $25 new member fee for a total of $105 that will get them good until September 2024. And then in September 24, they will only have to pay the $80 membership fee. Yeah. Same for adults joining in September 23. They'll pay $60, and that'll get them good until September 2024. Yeah. And uh, part of it is National is now going to be sending out email links for people to renew. So they're going to get 90, 60, 30, 15, 7 uh, days reminder uh, out, reminders that it's your anniversary date and you need to make those payments. So uh, that's our membership fees. If you have any questions, please feel free uh, to reach out to uh, someone here at the council. You can reach out to your district executive first. Um, if not, call me. Uh, I'm sure Nate would love to uh, take your calls, but he's in the middle of summer camp, so please don't. Um, but Nate, I know there's also one other very important thing we want to talk yes. about when it comes to safety. What is the new uh, thing going forward with uh, how we partner up in scouting? Yes, so we now have an update to our buddy system policy. Uh, the national annual meeting is going on as we're getting everything ready. That's the people we were on the phone with earlier today. But the buddy system now is not going to be pairs of two anymore. The new push is going to be three youth together at a time. And the main reason we have that idea is if Richard and I are buddies and I fall and I get hurt and I can't leave, Richard either has to leave me alone. Which I will do. And he will do. We all know he will. <laughs> or he's gonna to have to sit there and try to do scout rendered first aid on me while we hope that someone happens by. So in a group of three, we can have Richard, myself, and our buddy Phil out there. And if I fall and get hurt, I don't want either one of them doing scout rendered first aid on me, but hopefully one of them will stay and do that. And then the other one can go get help. In case I, if it's Phil and I can tell you no one's running to go get help. <laughs> <laughs> we'll mostly get help. Hopefully they put a little pep in the step and maybe not a run, but a little more than a foul and mosey, so. Yeah, but yeah, we look forward to more information coming about that, but we want to make sure everyone's aware. Yeah, especially going into summer camp. Um, we do kick off in about 17 days for summer camp, so we are really excited. Um, so this summer, please, you know, talk to your youth, talk to your leaders, you know, everyone. We're trying to push groups of three so that we can have that safety in numbers and make sure that everyone is moving in the right direction. Absolutely. So uh, we thank you for uh, staying with us during this episode of GTC TV. While it's not the best news, we hope it's uh, informative for you and that you have a better understanding of what's happening uh, with the national uh, membership fee. Uh, it's called a revamp. Revamp. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, a revamp. It's a revamp. Yeah. It's a brand new. It's a brand new. It's a new era for scouting yes. and starting with this membership thing. So uh, with that, I will see you on the scouting trail. Be prepared.